Hey guys, so today I've got a video that I think is going to be quite interesting for a lot of you um, and it's about how to use Cubix decentralized DEX and yeah, I, I think you're going to be, I think you're going to be impressed by this one um, or just how easy it is to use um, but yeah, I'll, I'll explain it all. This shouldn't even take long because it's so straightforward, there's not even that much to show but it's, it's, it's pretty cool so um, let's get into it. Yeah, guys, so this is um, where you would find the Cubic Dex. It's just just search Cubic Dex um, on uh, on Google and you're going to find the Cubic Dex there. But I'll leave a link um, down in the description as well. If I remember, I can be sometimes terrible for remembering that. But it's not hard to find and it's called Cubic QX. Um, and you're just brought to a home page like this. And the first thing that you would need to do is go and actually connect a wallet that you have. Now, as we can see, the uh, Wallet Connect is in beta. MetaMask connection is coming soon, but it doesn't exist yet. Um, but you would just click on the Wallet Connect. It opens up this um, QR code section here, or you can copy the URL and you connect your wallet that way. Now it's actually, because I guess this is in beta, it's actually quite difficult from your desktop to connect to the Cubic um, the, the cubic decks you can give it a go you would copy that url or if you've got a webcam you can go and face the webcam around and look at this qr code but it's actually pretty tricky but on your phone it's really easy you just go up to the, uh, i think it's the top right corner and you just go for your qr code scanner scan this qr code and you'll be connected um i'm just going to stay unconnected now for this video but um but you guys can do that if you want and then this is where you change your language if you want to be in a different language, but obviously I'm going to stay in English. And then we've got like just what I think is such a simple and easy to use and clean, um, clean um, decks. I mean, we'll see in the future if there's, if something is a bit different, but right now it seems, seems pretty straightforward. So just interesting things is if you've got someone's public ID, you can put it in here and you can look up their trades. Um, you can look up recent trades here. Um, pretty sure when you connect your wallet, you can see your recent trades here. Um, and then you can see recent transactions that have happened on the network. Pretty sure if you connect your wallet, you should be able to see your recent transactions. But you know what's what's important to remember is none of this stuff is um none of this stuff is the the biggest you know, it or all this stuff is going to be improved over time. It's the, still cubic dex is a work in, in progress, but it's getting there and it's actually, um, it actually seems to be, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with it, um, so far, but where we're interested in is we've got, um, the home section here. So in the home section, you can look up trades and transactions from here. So the same thing that you're seeing the top bar, but what's the most interesting is the assets section. So if we click on the assets section, it opens up this section here and we've got the smart contract share section, and then we've got the cubic token section. Um, I can see how over time this might need to be adapted. So right now it's really simple because there isn't that many um, smart contract shares uh, right now. And then there isn't that many tokens on the Cubic network, but this could get messier over time. And it'll be interesting to see how they adapt this over time, but there might just be some drop downs or something, some, some other way of doing this, but I'm sure it'll be nice and neat in the future. But um, so a smart contract share, I've explained what this is in past videos, but it's basically if a, an app is built on the Cubic network, you, they will run an IPO when they're launching that app. Um, and I'm calling it an app, but it's really just a smart contract. When they run that IPO, they create 676 shares and it's a way for them to raise funds to build that app or to pay their team. But then when you own you know, one, one of those 676 shares or multiple of those shares, any fees that are generated by that app or smart contract, and um, you receive, um, a percentage of that, of those fees. So it's a really, really great way to make, um, to make, um, passive income. Uh, so like a really, really popular smart contract is the QX one. So if you go in, so just where I, I did there was I went in and clicked the QX um, smart contract and you can just see the order book and then we can see the um, past prices for um, well we can see the you know the, cur 
prices that they were they were bought at in the past. So we see at one point someone bought a QX for 15 billion. So we can see the prices over here. We can see that someone bought one for 13.8 billion. We could go all the way along here and we can see that people were picking up for 7.5 billion. And we can see very recently someone picked up a QX share for only 6 billion. And the price of QX has been going down a bit, um, shares for this, because it's not generating much in the ways of fees right now, but it will in the future, I believe. So it'll be worth quite a lot. Um, then if we scroll down here, we can see recent trades as they happened. Um, and there are all the, the past trades. And then we can see the asset transfers that happened um, and wh who they came from and went to. And then up here, we can see what are the open sell orders and the open buy orders. So in here, we've got, um, we can see someone is selling two QX right now for 8 billion each. So um, you can buy one for 8 billion or you could buy both for 16 billion. Another person selling it for a around 9 billion, another person selling for 9 billion, and we can see all the prices, and they're going up there towards um, some people selling one for 32 billion, um, and yeah, good luck getting that right now, but in the future, they might be able to get that. And then we can see that the uh, buy orders, so the top buy order right now is 6 billion, um, and then, you know, it goes all the way down to some people bidding one, <laughs> uh, one cubic for a QX, hopefully, I think, trying to game the system a bit. Um, we can see right now there is a, a um, what's the word, a split, I think they call it, a split of uh, about 2 billion between the highest open buy order and the lowest sell order. Um, but when those prices converge, when someone's willing to bid maybe 7 billion for a QX and someone's willing to sell one, that's when a sale will be automated and um, that's when we get a price here. So we can see someone recently paid um, about 8.5 billion just over eight and a half billion for one QX share. Um, and we get the date for that. So that was on the 11th of August that someone did that. Um, so then if you actually wanted to um, buy one of these um, QX tokens, you just go over here, click open buy order, and you'd have to connect your wallet. And then you just go in, put in the price that you want to buy for. And then you just confirm that in your wallet and say how many you want to buy as well. And then it'll appear here once you've confirmed it in your wallet. The same if you want to sell one of your QX, you go in here, click um, open sell order. Again, you'd have to connect your wallet, but it's really, really straightforward. Just make sure that you're, put, you're putting in the correct price and then put in the number that you want to sell of QX shares and um, confirm it in your wallet. And then it's going to appear here. That if someone bids the price that you're selling it for, you'll obviously, um, it'll be sold in an automated fashion. And obviously if you've got buy order in and someone agrees to sell their, their QX at that price, um, you, in an automated fashion, that'll happen as well. And if you held a QX and you just look, you were like, yeah, I want to, I want to sell one for 6 billion, you'd go over here and click sell. Or if you were someone that just saw that 8 billion and you just want to go straight in and buy, you just click buy and you do it that way. Um, and now if we go back to assets, we can see loads of other ones. So there's random. This could be a really big money generator in the future, but it's not an active, um, it's not an active smart contract right now or not a smart contract that's, that's generating fees right now. So, you know, it's probably a good time to buy it because if, you know, in the future, if it is, it'll probably be worth a lot. Then there's Qtil. I'm not even sure what that one does. Quotary is the decentralized betting exchange in Cubic. Um, and we can see that there's some pretty good prices there on half a billion for one of those right now. Still not generating a lot in fees. My last match, this one is probably going to generate a lot in fees um, in the future. This is for the computer game that's launching on Cubic. I think this could be a big fee generator and I wouldn't mind snapping up um, one of these at some point myself. Um, and then QEARN, I mean, I, I know what QEARN is, but I'm not sure how that smart contract works, but QEARN is the staking platform on the Cubic Network. Then we've got QVault, so this is the um, passive income um, smart contract in Cubic where Q, the QVault team actually goes and buys, um, takes your money, uh, any money that's invested into it, and uses it to buy all these shares, and then they pay passive income out to Q Vault holders. So 
that's a really good one to own. Um, I'll show you in a second. You can also own QCAP. MS Fault is a mul uh, multi-signature fault. I'm not sure how much that will ge generate. QBay, as far as I know, is an NFT marketplace. QSwap then is kind of like Uniswap on Cubic. Could generate a lot. Um, so you can see they're going for decent prices for right now. So that could be a could be quite a good um, good place to buy. Um, could be a good one to buy in the future. It could, it, if it takes off, could generate a lot of fees because Uniswap generates millions in fees every week. So that you know if that got a fraction of that, it'd be worth buying. I'm not sure what Nost is, and then we've got QFT. Not sure what that is. Probably uh, um, that's probably. Uh, um, a meme maybe i'm not sure qft is probably around a long time it might be it might have something to do with phallus i can't remember what that one's for but then we've got cfb which is the first meme that was ever on the cubic network um could be a huge meme if cfb is proven to be satoshi or cubic takes off big and the name cfb becomes a big deal then you've got QCAP, and QCAP is part of QVault, so um, every month they release more QCAP. They sell that QCAP, and then the money that they, they receive for the QCAP, they invest in buying these smart contract shares, and then they use that um, the income from these shares, and they pay back QCAP holders for the percentage of, of um, the total supply that they own. So if you own a 1,000 QCAP, and you know there's 21 million overall, that's one twenty one thousand of the whole um, network, so you get one twenty one thousand of all the smart contracts that they own. So this could be a huge money spinner um, in a few years. And as you can see, that's why um, QCAP are pretty pretty expensive right now um, to buy a, a thousand of them. And then Garth is a really promising looking um, meme that's been built on top of the Cubic network. It's got to do with AI Garth. So that's a really interesting one. Then Matilda is another um, meme coin. And it's the name of CFB's cat. And it's like the Satoshi's cat project um, could be worth a lot too. So I think that's a, I think that's an interesting investment. Is if CFB's proven to be Satoshi, that should explode. QX Trade, not entirely sure how that one works. I should look into that. QXMR, I think that might be a meme coin as well. And then QMine, if you own some of these, you um, get a percentage of an income from a whole mining farm. So that's quite a cool one to check out as well. Um, I'd recommend giving that one that one some sort of a look too. Um, and that's all the tokens. That's literally it. And as simple as that, all you have to do anytime you want to buy them, for example, QCAP's a great one to buy, is either just click in here and buy what someone's selling at the price that they're selling it at, or just open up a buy order if you want to try and buy at a lower price. Um, but yeah, a great DEX. And I mean, I think this, if Cubic starts taking off, the income and fees that this DEX could be producing in the future could be huge. That's why QX is a great thing to invest in. It's why QEARN's great to invest in because they're taking the user's funds and investing them in QX so you get some of that passive income. That's why QACAP is a great one to invest in overall. That's all I've got for you today, guys. I'll see you all on the outside. <laughs>